It's Sunday, uh, October 6th, 2024, about 5.30 p.m. And it's going to document here the noise level that's originating from the arcing lightning arresters um, currently. So first thing I do is a little plot here by spinning the antenna around. And the strongest signal is coming from about 240 degrees, 240 degrees. 40 to 270 degrees, uh, but um, here's what we got. You can even see the characteristic 60 hertz ripple uh, across the spectrum scope. And at this level, S9 noise level everywhere, it uh, vent virtually renders, and this is at 21 megahertz, so it's even worse at 7 megahertz. I did a scan at 21 megahertz, uh, or a um, uh, azimuthal plot 21 megahertz because the antenna is a little more directive uh, at that frequency than at 7 megahertz. So we're going to go out and um, find a few of these things, document them. Okay, just sitting in the driveway, you can hear on the AM radio 630 kilohertz. It's already interfering with the AM radio here. And then here in the car, I have a uh, dual band Yagi, three elements on 144 megahertz, seven elements on 432 megahertz, and I have a little, this uh, VX7R, it also has an AM uh, function for both uh, VHF and UHF. We're going to be listing it first at 144 megahertz to get close. When I get close, the uh, AM radio will also go berserk on the car, and then when I get close, I'll switch it over 432 megahertz to pinpoint the pole. And then we'll move over to the ultrasonic parabolic dish, which uh, where the AM radio listens to it in a uh, RF domain and gets me close. But the parabolic dish listens to it in a acoustic domain. So if you can hear it acoustically, you're absolutely positively on the part. And we're gonna go around and document a few of these uh, parts that are arcing. All right, so driving around the neighborhood and uh, we got to a point over here um, where we found the strongest signal of interference and this is a directional antenna so if I spin it around this pole here if I spin it around fades off and it peaks right here This is 144 megahertz, the noise. One five eight six four seven zero E. Next thing we do. Set that down. Next thing we do. So I got the ultrasonic dish out. And we're gonna look up here. And what I'm specifically looking for are the lightning arresters on the uh, on the pole here. So we're gonna use this to pinpoint them. And I can hear it on the south phase, which is on the left. I cannot hear it on the right. So the right phase, I don't hear it. Left, I do. So driving down Lake Hughes Road, came by this pole here, making quite a racket. So we'll check it out real quick. See, right down. So I thought it was the pole down there. It was actually next one over. It's this guy here. 
and it's arcing from both uh, the left and the right. So this would be the east and west lightning arresters on this pole. So we'll see if we can get the pole number. There it is. I see it over there. We're on Lake Hughes Road. This is pole here. Both. This has two lightning arresters on it, this pole. <clears throat> And both the uh, east and west phases. So that would be the west phase over there, and this is the east phase over here. Both of those are arcing. And it's right across from this red barn. Here, pole number two, that's um, 43678 Lake Hughes Road. Right across from the barn. All right, let's see if we can find some more. ultrasonic dish. I was able to positively identify this pulled the cat bank on it. It has three LAs on it. And I can tell the one on the south, which is this one over here. I'm sorry, that's uh, north, the one on this side north. And one of the two on the uh, south side are definitely arcing. Um, I can't tell, they're too close together, but uh, there's definitely at least two on this pole that are arcing. And this is on Lake Hughes Road. Um, but I know that there's about five or six more in a row down this way that are all sarking. So we'll yeah, try another to one here using the dish. Well, first we tracked it with a 432 megahertz AM radio. This one's on the Oaks Lodge at the bottom. And let's see if we can find a pole number for it. It's the uh, north side, which is this side lightning arrestor using the dish, I was able to pinpoint it. So let's see if we can find a pole number on this guy here. Hope I don't run any snakes. Here we go. Pole number 465118E. So, it is that guy right there. So we got another one here on Pine Canyon Road. It's just east of the mailboxes here. This is number five on my list at uh, 18518 Pine Canyon Road. So just there's a mailbox, the entrance to the house. And it's just east and it's the uh, south side, side opposite of the uh, street light that's arcing. On to the next, next one. one. It's exactly one pole <clears throat> to the east of the last one. So that one had one. This guy here, center phase is arcing tremendously. So much so, it's hard for me to tell if the uh, east and west phases have any noise on them because all I hear is the center. Um, it's possible they could have a little bit, but it's not entirely po not entirely sure. And uh, this guy here, Paul four seven eight two nine eight five E, and it's on Pine Canyon Road, and it's right at the bottom of. Uh, this little entrance here to uh, a home. I don't know if it has an address. Let's see if I can get the address. All right, so I got an address, 18350 Pine Canyon Road. And directly across the street to the south is the pole in question. Okay, we're at the last one for tonight. This one is at the corner of Trail K and Trail M. This is east of my house, and it is the lightning arrestor on the west phase, same side as the uh, street light on this pole. Pole number is See if we can find it here. Pole 
413-7339E. And hopefully that's it for tonight.